Hey guys, Orly Wabi here, founder of Life Best Inside, and I want to thank each and every one of you for deciding to kick off your week with me on the weekly Kindness Kickoff with Orly, where I do a reading from my book, Kindness Boomerang, How to Save the World and Yourself Through 365 Daily Acts. And then based on the reading, give yourself, as well as myself, an exciting kindness challenge for the week, helping us open our eyes to all of the amazing kindness opportunities that surround us. Before I get into the book, as you can see, I'm wearing my official Dance for Kindness garb. Dance for Kindness, our annual worldwide event, is coming up on Sunday, November 11th, in over 100 cities around the world, 50 countries, people from all different backgrounds and cultures joining together, united under the banner of kindness, showing that regardless of our differences, kindness is the common thread that unites us all. And if we create dialogue with one another, we have the ability to truly impact change in the world. You can get your uh, Dance for Kindness tea on the Dance for Kindness website, danceforkindness.com. Also check it out and join an event in your city. Once you register, you'll get a link to learn the dance. And once you learn the dance, your, your organizer, your group leader is gonna reach out to you, give you details about where your event is gonna take place. And this happens all over the world on the same day. One day, one dance, one heart. You can become part of something that's even greater than yourself and showing that when we connect, when we unite, nothing can stop us. So definitely check that out as I'm getting pumped and excited for Dance for Kindness as it's uh, counting down. Before we get to the reading, a couple of announcements. I'd love to invite you guys to check out our two newsletters. We have one is The Daily Kind, which goes out every Monday through Friday. It has an act of the day, a positive affirmation, a quote, and then a kindness media, giving you something positive to see that's going on in the world so we can train our eyes to start seeing the good things. It's a 30 second read to kickstart your day with kindness. The other is called The Kindness Flash. So the Kindness Flash goes out once a month and it focuses on a different theme of kindness, whether it be, you know, whether it be grit and determination, which is the month of October, or whether it be gratitude or generosity. And within that newsletter, we put together tons of really great information and we also are creating the content as well of acts of the month and a quote of the month and a book of the month and the song of the month and a talk of the month and the thoughts of the month. And then on Wednesdays, you could join Jason and myself for the Kindness Flash with Jason and Orly, where we actually discuss the topic for that month. Uh, and we're going to be bringing on some guest speakers over the course of the next month or so. So you can definitely check that out. And don't forget to click subscribe to our channel. Uh, we are right now at 102,000 subscribers. I want to say thank you so much to each and every one of you for being by my side, for betting on me, for believing in this concept of kindness and for pushing us through because this is a completely volunteer run organization. I myself, I'm a full-time volunteer and it only exists because you guys want it to exist. So I just want to say thank you. Honestly, it means more than I can begin to tell you. So Kindness Boomerang, the book, it's a lesson a day book in kindness every day with an act, a quote, and then a short reflection on the power of paying it forward. And there are 12 categories that repeat throughout the book, whether it's kindness with yourself, in the workplace, on the go, with a stranger, in nature. And the idea is that when we see the simple things, suddenly our awareness is increased so we actually can incorporate those things into our life. For those of you that never got a copy of the book, please check it out. It makes a great for a great gift. And the best part is that the proceeds from the book go directly to the nonprofit Life Fest Inside, which is geared towards spreading kindness globally. So check it out. You can find it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, IndieBound, iTunes. Uh, so please get your copy of Kindness Boomerang. Makes a great gift, especially with the holiday season coming up. This is a really great gift to give out to others. So we're going to go right into our uh, reading over here. And the reading comes from November 3rd. And the act is, have a major test coming up. Surprise your classmates by preparing a review sheet for them. This happens to be an act that I actually loved doing as a student, both in high school and then, of course, in college and then in graduate school, uh, putting together materials and making them really easy for people to be able to learn and then you know, take that knowledge and incorporate it into their lives. But you don't have to only be within a school in order to be able to do this. You can apply this specific act to any part of, of your life. You know, uh, tests are, don't have to just be a written test. You have the ability to prepare something for your colleagues or prepare something for um, your family, something that can help them make themselves a bit better. The quote, getting the most out of life isn't about how much you keep for yourself, but how much you pour into others. I absolutely love this quote. And I have to say that I've seen this exist in my life so much so 
specifically in the past few months uh, of living right now here in Jerusalem, which uh, I just moved from New York to Jerusalem. This is like such an embedded concept within the lifestyle here. It's all about what you can give to others. Very often we, we live in a life where like, okay, I'm going to connect with this person, but what can they give to me? I'm going to go into this meeting, but I want to see how they can help me. What I found, okay, and it's so much present here, but it could be present in any person's life, anywhere that they live. It's not about asking what you're going to receive, but questioning what you can give. Where is there a need that you can fill? Because the more that we collectively give to one another, the more we grow. By helping, by lifting others, we ourselves also rise. And the reflection, the time and effort we invest into strengthening ourselves, others is never wasted. But rather, it propels us to even greater heights than we may have initially expected. Our successes are not simply measured by what we physically achieve, but by the collective whole of what we can, get, what we can help others achieve. It is only once we let go of the false notion that one must fall for another to rise that we can fully appreciate that the achievements of someone we supported are in fact our very own. I have to tell you how fitting this reflection is for me right now, specifically in my life. I'm telling you that this works. If you don't believe me, try it. Test it out this week. Go into anything that you're doing over the course of this week with the mindset of how can I give to others? How can I have, how do I have a connection that can help this person? Or have somebody that, you know, might need something or might need a specific resource or a skill set or something that you can lend a hand to someone else. The more we come to see that we can be, that we can actually fill a need of others, the more others can start to see that they can fill our own needs. Guys, we are connected collectively in this world. We have the capacity in this world to be able to resolve every issue that we are facing as a society. What we just need to realize is that we are all interconnected. Like I mentioned just a moment ago about my experiences here, just last week, I happened to have connected with somebody that connected me with another individual. He didn't know me from anywhere. He had no reason to have to help me. And we sat down and I was telling him about the work I'm doing with the organization. And he's also an entrepreneur and he has his own stuff that he has going on. And he took time from his, out of his day. He never met me before, but he felt connected. He loved what I was doing and he wanted to help. And he said, I'm coming, I'm driving into your city and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to help you get some work done. It was amazing. The first phone call that he made, okay? He was helping me with Dance for Kindness, the, the event that's coming up. And I wanted to be able to make the event really big here because it's our first year. And so he picked up the phone and he made a first phone call to like, just, he looked on, searched on Google for like some dance studios. He made a phone call to a woman, okay? And was talking to her about the event. This is the first call he made. Bottom line, what, what ends up happening? Turns out that this woman is writing her thesis, her master's, on flash mobs, which is what we're actually creating. And she's planning to do an event on the same day as our event. And she's 500 students. Long story short, just went with, to a meeting with her earlier today. She's going to be collaborating with us and bringing her students to our event to take part in our event. From one phone call, and you have to understand, I was say, setting a goal for myself. I said, I want to get... 500 participants in a first year city. I want to get 500 participants. It's going to be really tough. I'm really new to the city. He came out of his way. He has his own, like I said, he has his own initiative. It's called Moody. Check it out. It's awesome. It's a mobile application with four O's, Moody. And basically it connects people to experiences in their own city based on the mood that they're in. It's awesome. Definitely check it out. And so he came out of his way, took time off, made this one phone call that ended up completely shifting things for me and for the organization. And then I had the opportunity now to help this woman because she needs that. She, we're basically both helping each other. But I didn't come into it saying, what can I take from her? It's continuously looking for how you can help somebody. And when you change your mindset, the entire, your entire world around you shifts. Guys, I don't know how to describe it more than what I'm telling you. I have stories of, like this every single day that have been happening to me, especially over this past week. Every single day, an experience like this. Test it out. Over the course of this week, okay, 
Even though the actors have major tests coming up, surprise somebody with preparing a review sheet. Here's what I want you to do. If you're in a school, you could definitely do that. But here's how you could apply it into your life. Over the course of this week, keep your eyes and your ears open for people, whether they're in your network or whether you may not know them or somebody introduces you to them, somebody that might need something. And ask yourself how you can help them, how you can make a connection for them, how you can make a phone call for them, how you can take a moment to assist them or post something for them. But you have to do it from your full heart. It's got to come from a place of abundance, not from a place of, I need, so I'm going to do so that I can receive. Remember, the world is here to connect us all. We just need to open our eyes to see, to see how we actually all interconnect. So what I hope for you is a week filled with amazing connections, a week filled with the ability to see how you play a part in someone's life, how they play a part in yours, and how we all play a part in each other's. All right, let's get out there. Let's make some great things happen, guys. Thank you so much once again for joining me for the weekly kindness kickoff with Orly. You can catch me every Monday, 9 a.m. Eastern time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Check out Dance for Kindness. Subscribe to our newsletters. And guys, thank you once again for being a part of the change we all wish to see in the world. Remember, it's kindness that keeps the world afloat. Love you all. Mwah!